I thought you can't do them anymore. You can't do them on Hazards Off. Ah. But you can do like pits on Palutena's Temple though. Okay. Even with Hazards Off. Cool. Just something interesting I thought I'd point out. Uh, so, this matchup, pretty volatile. They both mix the heck out of each other. They just both have uh, massive combos. Yeah. Uh, Wolf might have the advantage a little bit in neutral because right. but Falco has one. Voices so much. Falco has, has one point advantage. What's that? Uh, he has one point. In a, yeah? People keep on talking. I have to play right now. Okay, guys. So I'm leaving numbers solo. Okay, I'll do my. He best. can do it, and I will be dipping off. Uh, hit that down smash, baby. So one point in advantage Falco does have over uh, Wolf is that is that Wolf does want to get in close to do those big hits, but that's where Falco wants you to be. Like we don't see a lot of Falco play, but he loves to get grabs and up tilts and just get those big damage combos and kill confirms. Oh, that could that could have gone really south from, but it was safe enough. Coming back. F tilt attempt. Nice. That was a good read on uh, Jackal's part, predicting Tilde would not go for this ledge on the second time and would come right back on the stage. I, uh, there was just too much going on in there for me to talk about it. But I wish I had someone else to talk about it with. <laughs> Tilde with a very good uh, revenge back here kill. What do we got? What's the landing trap from Jackal? Very nice. Tilda understanding that Jackal was looking for some sick, nasty uh, landing traps, throws himself off the stage. Let's see what happens. Hits that, hits that all important up tilt. Here we go. Nice, no tech. Oh! Tilda did a good job reading uh, Jackal's movement there, but unfortunately, execution error is all bound. the edge guard here. Jackal just comes on up with a forward air. Very aggressive. Nice. They're looking for their kills. They're looking for their moment. Is that the moment? Not yet. Oh, Jackal came up aggressive. Here comes the back throw. Is that enough? No. Oh, I like it. And crossed him up, too, on top of that. And that will, wow. That was perfect DI, though. Went right to the corner. I'm digging it. Air dodge. No catch, though. Tilda's in dire straits now. All right. Jackal has chosen to go extremely aggro now with this stock lead and try to rack up as much percent as he can. He's not playing it safe. He's just going for it, and I respect that. It seems like he's going to get him to kill percent relatively easily, but it's going to be real crunch time for him when it's time for killing. Let's see if he can hit one of those uh, forward tilts or down smashes on the ledge. Here we go. Attempt. No good. All right, there we go. Falco. Oh! Comes on with a backer. Doesn't kill. I'm amazed. Here we go again then. Tilda making it through another round of wolf edge guarding too. And Jackal is officially in the danger zone too. Let's see how it goes. Nice. I like the attempt. Fire. Nice. Here comes a back throw. Can he DI it? Game. Ah, no good. Let's see the replay. I'd like to see the DI line on that. He went a little too high, although I think he was going to die regardless. But let's see. Ugh. I don't see it. Oh, maybe he didn't DI then. On the kill spurt? Oh, on throws. Devin is unsure if it applies to throws. That's understandable. 
And by game two, we are going to Kalos Pokemon League with End End's Castle Plan. A very underrated song. Oh, here we go. Yo, we are seeing Tilda's patent pending low percent Falco combos coming out. The patent will be complete in 2020. Not much to say here, it's just a regular Slabanaka right now. Nice. And I'm sure Jekyll was not expecting the situation, but Tilda did a very good job converting his recovery into a kill. I'm digging it. Wall jump's going to help Falco out a lot. Nice. He re the ledge. But he did uh, one of those beefy up Bs to hit him a little bit. And here we go. Look at him go. And reads the falling back air from Jackal. Jackal thinking Tilda was out of offense, but he was still going. Going, going. Oh. Oh, no punish. I have to wonder if that is possible to do or if he just messed it up. But if Tilda's getting ready to lap him. Oh. Nice shielding. He did a good job recognizing that back throw might not have killed in that situation. And Tilda is officially lap Jackal. Very nice. but not out. That's what I say. Jekyll is going to make it back to the stage relatively free every time because Falco. Falco is not sitting on the greatest kit of edge guarding right now. And he's not really known for his two frames either. So those kills from Tilda are going to have to come from on stage for the most part. Nice back air, but it was sour, I think. Oh, nice angling. Grabs the ledge much later than what it seemed like he was going to do. So has been doing a very good job avoiding these uh, down smash two frame edge guards. You know, the ones that kill at 50. <laughs> there we go. That forward smash does not have cooldown. He's got to be wary. I'm sure he knows, but. Oh, nice. Up tilt. I always forget that that move has a kill. It does kill. Ooh! I like the attempt there. Is he trying to make Jackal flinch? Let's see. Hopping around, he's looking for that back air. A perfect back air. Oh! Oh. A little mistake on recovering there, but gets away with it. Tilda messes up. But he's doing a job. He's doing. Oh, nice. Hops off the stage. Edge guards for like the first time this whole set. And it's a good one. Oh, Had enough already? And it's good. All right, Tilda is banned. Final Destination and Pokemon Stadium 2. I assume he doesn't want to give, uh, I assume he doesn't want to give Jackal any room to run away and shoot lasers, though. I can't imagine it, it would be a big factor in the matchup. You know, since he could just reflect them. But I put too much stock in reflectors, so never mind. <laughs> but Falco's is like an offensive reflector. It can be used as an attack, too. It can be used in that awkward mid-range where other reflectors might not apply. But he hasn't been using it, so there's got to be a reason for that. Right, we're getting into this game three. I can 
only imagine the pressure is mounting here. Winner gets a ticket into top eight. And we got Whimsicott in the background here to say hi. Say hi to Whimsicott, everyone. Nice power shield on the tilted down air. It's being a little more aggressive this game, from what I can tell. Oh! oh. Gets the punish there. I like it. I'm sure Jackal did it just because he had frame advantage, but it was also good because he wasn't sure. It wasn't clear which side of Wolf Falco was going to be on at the end of that forward air. Oh, the match is going too fast for me to commentate. All right, Jackal takes first blood. We've seen it time and again in this game. Well, in this set, too. Whoever gets first stock, their aggression increases quite a good amount. That's understandable. They want to secure that lead, keep it going. It's nothing like uh, racking up your momentum. That was a bad way of phrasing that. That's the back here, but no kill yet. And wow! What a perfectly placed edge guard. I can't believe it didn't even hit Tilda. Usually when you play play games with Wolf's recovery, you get you trade, but not this time. <laughs> like the laser. Here comes another down smash. But no good. Another? No. They just won't connect. And that's why Jackal turns to hitting and moves on stage to get this kill. Here we go. Big damage. But for who? Job. Tilda hasn't given up yet. Nice back air. Oh my gosh. An excellent job reading uh, Jackal's movements and attacks there. But it's tough though. Wolf is a murder machine. Who also breaks shields. Well, not break. He, Wolf does a good job poking shields though. It's really scary. Another attempt, but no good. I like it. I think Tilda's being careful not to get into up smash range. And I think Jackal recognized that just now. I think Jackal recognizes that Tilda doesn't want to get near him for up smash attempts. So we're going to see how this game ends. No down smash attempt. Still doesn't work. Nothing else. Tilda has done a great job of not getting hit by that. I'm not 100% sure. I think Jackal might have been looking for uh, up tilt there. Spot dodge up tilt. Ugh, it's scary when you Wow, okay. Well, good set to uh, Jackal. Oh, the a lot of Top 12 is a best of five. Never mind. LOL, says Devin. Start the I say, oh, oh, what's this? All right, then we're going to game four then. And it will be played at... Kalos again? I mean, uh, Unova. Or maybe they didn't reset their bands. <laughs> yeah, that seems more likely, actually. Oh. Top 12, though. That's crazy. I like it, though. I love how whenever we have a tournament that might run on time, like... Jeff, you or Dill decides, hey, you know what would be great? If the tournament ran longer. Okay, Dill or Jeff. It's like, it'd be great if this tournament ran to one in the morning. But I ain't complaining. Best of fives can do nothing but imp increase consistency in results. And I'm all about that. Now, speaking of that, look at all this damage Jackal has already racked up. 88.8%. Oh my god. Jackal is giving Tilda nothing but pollen drums for damage. I love it. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Oh, 
Well, since we're doing another game, we're going to see if uh, Jacko can hit one of those elusive two frames. That was a good job. Her shielding and also recognizing that it was about to cross up. I'm digging it. Oh, right on the stage. I like it. Jackal's here. He wants those up tilts. Let's see how he gets it. Once you get to the part where up tilt can kill, it's really scary because now you have to watch out for a super fast tilt or a grab. And it's like, damn. That's a lot that could kill me. In addition to his uh, tried and true back here. Nice. Nice. I love it. It's a kind of aggression you see from the uh, Phantasm Illusion Wolf Flash that you don't see from Wolf or Fox. Because Falco's, Falco's ends a lot faster than those twos to the extent that he can get combos off it in addition to his uh, very high jump height. <laughs> Falco's up tilt, not working properly. All right, now it's in good working order. Here we go. Ooh. Back here missed. It's a complete reversal in situation again. I'm telling you, these games are going faster than I can commentate. And I love it. Whoa, he just comes down. I love it. Yes, death, gore, blood. All right, here we go again. Jekyll is not getting off him. He's doing a great job moving in and out, avoiding uh, Tilde's throwing, Tilde throwing out up tilts like that. And does another down air, Jesus. He's just going over the ledge with it, I love it. Oh! Jekyll just swings and it worked. He got a good read on, uh, he saw it through Tilde's movements. Just pounded him with a forward smash, I like it. All right, edge guarding Falco. We got anything? No. And that that hit, I like it. I keep saying I like it, but I love it. Yes. Okay, let's see a replay on that. I want to see the uh, I want to see that hitbox again. I want to see how this back air exactly connected. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's brilliant. All right. Assuming the bands don't change, we'll probably be going to Unova one more time. No, it's banned. We're going to Town and City instead. Stop that All right, Tildo's taking a deep breath there. He was able to prevail on his counterpick of choice, but he's going to have to clutch it out on something that isn't his counterpick if he wants to win this set. Let's see. Nice, he read the tech back. It's unfortunately no punish for him. Nice, waits out the spot dodge this time. Until the started to get a read on uh, Jackal's defensive habits, but unfortunately he's not converting it into super big damage yet. But this may, this may be something that comes into play later on near the end of this game. We'll have to see. Oh my god, I flinched. Nice. Jekyll read Tilda's high recovery, but unfortunately, it just wasn't good enough. And Tilda's still reading the defensive options really well. Nice. This time it was Tilda who misjudged uh, Jekyll's high recovery. Let's see what we got here. Wow, just jumps up and up airs, but Town and City with a very high blast zone. Oh my. Oh, it's done a good job catching those uh, spot dodges at point blank, though. Nice. No punish. Total drop shield waits a really long time. I wonder if I have to wonder if that was a misinput or not. While I sit here, I wonder. Jekyll is going to get to work on that second stock. Oh, I like it. All right. Ooh. 
Jackal did a great job. He moved out and then back in, almost as if... I can't even explain that. It was just too Mensa for me. It was a double fake out though, and that caused Tilda to do a side bait. I liked it. Oh. He tries to read the wolf flash, but he got hit. He gets hit this time. Oh. Oh! I will say Tilda is doing a few too many ratchet, uh. Not ratchet, rogue, uh. Falco Phantasms onto the stage. Jackal is not having any of it. He's shielding and he's up smashing. He's just like, you can't have this. I'll never let you have it. Nice. That could have been the end of the game if Tilda missed that tech. Nice. No tech. There we go. I was just talking about his ratchet side Bs, but this time it got him a kill, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining here. Here we go, it's Falco time. No good. Another missed tech. He has to be ready for that. Tech situation's on par though. The stage is quadruple roll, baby. I'm sure the first one was because of hold buffer, but after that, I don't know. Oh, rogue up smash. Jackal's ready to kill here. Nice. Oh, oh, he's doing something. Nice shield. It's scary though to shield wolf flash like that though. It, it does nothing but cut your shield into ribbons. Oh, he's looking for up tilt. I wonder if it can kill yet though. Dash attack sends him straight up, but no kill yet. Town and city. Fire. Ooh, he can get on that platform. That's the first time I've seen that this set. All right, he's grabbing the ledge. Laser. Ooh! Oh, he's going to back throw. He's going to try it, but it's not enough yet. Stop the Phantasm. Oh, Soft Nair? Soft Nair does it. <laughs> well, good job to Jackal. And Tilda for giving us a very, a very uh, entertaining set. All right, I'm going to get up because I probably have to play soon. Leaving poor Devin with no casters.